Hey guys, this is Chris Campbell, tech editor for Popular Hot Rodding Magazine, and today we've got Matt Jones, suspension engineer for Art Morrison Enterprises, and they brought down his personal car, a 69 Camaro that has a revolutionary new IRS suspension in it. Matt, can you tell us a little bit more about what makes this so unique? Sure. Uh, this is a, a new milestone for Art Morrison Enterprises. Uh, it, it shows uh, all the technology available in today's suspension uh, and something that is available for older cars. So you see you guys are using a 5th gen Camaro, uh, Camaro spindle here? Correct. So what would be the difference that makes this a multi-link setup? Well, a multi-link has a series of, of links uh, assorted around the, the knuckle to allow it to be very well controlled and, uh, and precise. So previously for guys that are running a lot of power mm -hmm. or driving the cars very aggressively, they've had geometry issues or yes. wheel hop issues with a lot of these IRS mm -hmm. systems. Mm -hmm. um, how have you guys addressed that? Well, we have links uh, arranged in that natural load pass. We have very stiff bushings. And uh, with the arrangement of all these links, uh, tow out under acceleration is just about zero. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, how does this tow link here uh, factor in? Well, th this, this tow link is arranged in the proper locations such that uh, when the cor when a car is going into a corner, the rear of, of the car will actually steer and uh, allow the car to, to follow that, that path in, in the turn. So I see rather than the uh, Camaro's differential, you guys have gone with a strange S60, um, Dana 60 style. Correct. Why is that? Well, this is Strange's new deal for fifth gen Camaros. Um, uh, a huge benefit with this, it's a very strong piece. It uses Dana 60 ring gears, which is almost a 10-inch ring gear. Mm -hmm. And uh, the ring gears are actually still manufactured by the OEM, so they are very, very quiet. Ah, okay, so you eliminate some of the NVH that's become exactly. an issue with the aftermarket 9 inches and whatnot. Correct, correct. So this is kind of a self-contained cradle, but it doesn't necessarily bolt right into a car. I mean, you don't have to modify the car greatly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but there is some required, right? Correct. Uh, there needs to be some brackets on the frame rails to uh, bolt up uh, this cradle. Mm -hmm. um, most cars, because of its compact design, you would not have to cut the trunk. But these are not factory frame rails in this car any longer, correct? Uh, the, these ones are not. These are the. This is a Morrison uh, GT Sport rear clip. Would you recommend that as a necessity for an upgrade on this? Uh, for a guy who makes uh, plenty of power, uh, these rails are, are very, very strong. And uh, the, uh, for the uh, Camaro, for instance, uh, the stock rails are very thin, mm -hmm. and uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable in attaching brackets to them. Hmm. Good to know. So it looks to be a lot of pieces and parts under here, but really you drop almost 100 pounds off of a standard solid 12 bolt and 4 link? Uh, that, that is correct, uh, in terms of uh, unsprung weight. Uh, so by doing that, we, uh, we get to greatly increase the uh, right quality. So I see that you're running 450 pound springs in the rear of this car, that, that, that's and the same with the front as well? It, exactly. Uh, because of, uh, of the, the weight of this and, and the overall build of the car, the front to rear weight ratio actually is right at about 50-50. Amazing. That's got to be uh, perfect for balance. Oh, it's, it's great. It makes it a very neutral handling car, and, and, uh, and like you said, uh, then you get to run the uh, same spring rate. So the package that we're looking at here is, what, 59 and a half inches? Correct. Perfect for a first generation Camaro. Mm -hmm. But will it be offered in other widths for larger cars? Yes. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start the width at 55 and a half mm -hmm. and go up uh, two inches up to uh, 61 and a half. So we'll have 55, 57, 59, and 61. Perfect. That'll make it good for tri-fives and many other... Exactly. Mustangs, tri-fives, you name it. Awesome. 